Okay, hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate a small application that I built for uh, my previous company. Uh, this one. For this is a, an e-shop that has uh, portable computers, televisions, uh, hardware, software, everything. So um, there was a need, but let's take it from the start. In Greece, here in Greece, we have a site. It's called Scrooge.gr where you can uh, find for every almost every item that you can think of what's the best price so let's say for instance that I take uh, let's take this monitor and I take this product number and let's see what's the rank for that now it uh, it returned three results now sometimes the site uh, it uh, mistakes it, it makes mistakes and uh, it can create three different categories for the same product so we are here this is us we are first but uh, there was a need that we wanted to automate this process for uh, let's say uh, a specific uh, items let's say for 20 or 30 items for some items we wanted to uh, see what's our rank every couple of days if uh, for instance we, w we were not first and we were uh, the last then the salesman or the sales uh, the sales manager should take some action maybe uh, lower the price or uh, change its marketing strategy so that product uh, will uh, have lower price and uh, it is going to be more competitive so we wanted to automate this so we had i had i was asked to develop this application but let's take it from the beginning let's go to the developing platform I use Visual Studio, C Sharp, and MySQL. Now, because I, I no longer work uh, at this company, we won't be able to access the database. This is the latter, this is the last uh, choice. <coughs> so, only the three, the first three options. Now, uh, the first three options, uh, you, uh, the, the, the whole application was built in Greek because we're in Greece, and uh, uh <coughs> uh, you can imagine that it would be a little bit strange to make all the labels uh, English so so this is uh, the search menu and we have three options you can either load uh, an Excel file with all the uh, uh, with all the products that you want to search or use a uh, criterion I'm gonna discuss in detail uh, or uh, with a product number you take a product number you copy and paste it in the application and uh, the application is going to report the rank for that product so let's take the first one from file I love tabs so let's rename it so let's say file data okay now I'm gonna load the file it's an Excel file with all the products that uh, I want to follow and see if they are uh, if they're competitive <coughs> now the first uh, form that is going to appear because the application uh, doesn't have a way to know which columns are what so this is the part number so which column has a part number it's the second column which column has the name of the product this is it which column do you want me to use for search and which column has the price of the product now I use the price for uh, because uh, there was a uh, there was a bug because sometimes it returned more than one result so I need to take the price of the product and com um, compare it with the price that the search returned it from the site and I can have a better view a more correct view this is a small error because I have an earlier version of office okay now let's uh, say for instance that I want for the first four uh, products to see what's the competition is doing am I the last am I the first where am I so I hit the search and now for every item in the selected items is gonna go and search in the site for every item and it's gonna return the rank and some other information I'm gonna pause the video here and return when the operation is finished okay uh, the operation is finished and now uh, but let's take it from uh, from the beginning this checkbox right here that I just unchecked uh, when the automatic when the analysis is over it's going to automatically 
show the report with the items that uh, need uh, attention or are problematic. Problematic. By problematic, I mean that uh, the price is is actually higher than it should be. So attention or action must be taken. Now, the green ones, the the records uh, of the list here that are marked as green, is uh, the records uh, which uh, uh, the item was found. Uh, during the search so if I take this item and take this part number it's going to return no results so no results found so it marked it red now uh, let's see what it did so for the first one for this item here the Lexmark laser printer uh, we are first and uh, we don't see any other uh, records uh, because for some reason, the site, the scrooge.gr, it didn't find any others with this part number. <coughs> it found only one, and uh, it's us. Maybe no one else has it, or maybe it's a bug in the site. The second one, we see that we're first. The second is Digital Master, Vision Studio, and so on. So, if I take this part number here, it's actually the same results. Let's take a little while. Oops, see it's a little old. Okay. And these are the same results right here. Okay, so it went and found the results and let's see. Uh, yeah, that's uh, okay and uh, we can see that in here we are 13th that's the rank right here 13 out of 65 results so that's us right here and you can see that it's a uh, 70 579 euros and the first one it's 551 and if I double click it's gonna take me to the shop and if I double click here to my you know for comparison sake just to see that it is indeed the same product and it is the same product so and uh, the, the the key feature of this uh, of this uh, application is that it automatically reports which items need attention and it's this one because its rank is 13th so it's pretty high and uh, the person who is in charge for the sales or the sales manager should uh, take some kind of action in order to um, eliminate this big difference that we see right here. So that's in general the function, uh, the operation of uh, if you have, if you want to load it the, the the items from a file. Now with criteria is a little bit different. We have a uh, categories here, and you can choose. Uh, for instance, this is laptops and let's say uh, tablets. And I want to see for for some tablets that I'm going to set now the criteria. Let's say, for instance, uh, I want to check for Sony, all the Sony lap, all the Sony tablets. And I want to see for each and every entry where is my rank. So. I hit this little button here and it's going to take a little while and for each entry right here the application is going to search what's our rank for every item and it's going to display it right down here in this bottom list and I'm going to pause it again and I'm going to return when the, the function the operation is over okay the operation is completed now let's see what it returned so we searched for Sony tablets and for this one we're not in here so we don't sell it neither because I see zero but in here I can see that we are 13th so yes here we are again it's 515 euros and the first is 484 so that's a huge difference some action must be taken maybe we should lower the price 
let's see for this one neither 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 here we don't have it we don't have it we don't have it so we only have this one but you can see that it's uh, more uh, more uh, how to say it uh, it's easier to filter I mean you don't go with specific products or a list of products but you go with uh, some uh, specification that you said some criteria right here and you can see the overall state I mean for this one or this one or this one now let's see the last one this is with a product number this is the simplest you just let's see let's rename it product number all right now this is very straightforward let's say for instance that I want to take uh, let's say this one now let's not take a keyboard maybe let's take this small router and copy and paste in here I'm gonna hit enter no results so let's take let's take for instance let's go again ah, let's take this laptop here product number copy and paste okay uh, now we are first that means that no one else has it now but I don't think that's correct results it, it, it's not a mistake for the application but because it goes in search with a part number sometimes uh, Scrooge this side here doesn't cooperate very well with only the part number maybe some further information needs in order to return uh, the correct result let's take another one let's take uh, let's take this number this part number right here this and put it over here again S again this is not very popular I just built it you know uh, because they asked me but uh, we saw that it's not very uh, very useful uh, at the end and I just left it there sometimes uh, it's useful sometimes it's not so this is a small application that I developed in uh, C sharp with a MySQL database at the, ba at the back end and uh, Visual Studio 2010 the development time was about uh, well this general skeleton was built in uh, three days you know the parsing of the HTML page and uh, the recursion because it's built on recursion for uh, to be faster and uh, more accurate and uh, then the you know the bits and bolts were taken about uh, two weeks and then some bugs that appeared here and there so in general it took about uh, three days to build the 70 percent of the application and then because I didn't work full-time on this uh, application about two weeks here and there so that's that I hope you enjoyed that small presentation take care